MJ Akbar, I come to you next. We've heard a long, <coughs> detailed response from Veer Sangvi. What do you make of the explanation that both he and Barkha have put forth? Well, I am very, very uh, seriously concerned about sounding holier than thou. Uh, we, uh, we have a tough profession. But one thing, one or two things uh, are clear to me. One, of course, it's remarkable how much the uh, corporate honchos misery Delhi. If they really think that journalists are going to decide cabinet positions, <laughs> then they don't know how Delhi functions. They just don't know how power functions. So, and if journalists, unfortunately, feed into this uh, sort of syndrome of stringing them along or playing them or exaggerating their own sort of importance in this whole thing, then I'm afraid they're guilty of perpetrating a myth. The political class is a very tough class. It takes its decisions on the basis of its strong perceptions, of its strong needs. And uh, I think we should uh, sort of, uh, if the journalist ego had been slightly less bloated, I think many of these problems would not have arisen. Okay. That's your take on it. I also now want to go across to Prabhu Chavla. His name too features in these tapes. There is talk about the, the verdict in the courts. And there is also the one matter that is raising the most concern is that there is talk about fixing judgments in the courts. How do you respond to that, Prabhu? You see, I'm little, I must clear one thing about it, that I have been accused of advising Neera Radia. And you know, I'm, you know, but both are being facing cases from her. She has sued both of us, though I have nothing to do with that lines today at that point of time, and she is suing us. Nobody has heard the tape, it seems. Question is, how can I go and influence the judgment if the sequence of events is known to all of them? Judgment of Bombay High Court came on 15th of June. And she is talking to me on 20th of June. There was no Supreme Court at that point of time. I don't know who, which journalist has this imagination of coming across that I was speaking about a judgment which is supposed to be coming. I'm going to the, if somebody reads the full text of my scene, I'm telling her that I'm very angry the way Mukesh and they, both of us are behaving. Because I was the one who wrote the story about them coming together. They're kind of having some kind of a bifurcation. So I knew both the brothers when they were 15 years old. The whole thing is about because when I was, my phone was tapped on 20th of June. And Supreme Court was nowhere in the picture. Nobody knew about Supreme Court judgment to come or not come. How do I imply anything? One judgment has come, second has not even started. How do I influence? I want to know from people who have written the stories, have they heard the tape? Did they do the research? Of course, you can object that, okay, all of us have crossed some limit and speaking in a manner which a detail should not be speaking. And Barakha was honest enough to admit the error of judgment. You are also honest and admit to that they, should have crossed the, they shouldn't have crossed the limit. In my case, I am expressing my anger the way their brothers are behaving. I am saying, Dono bhai ladte hai, desh ho jata hai. Is that wrong? <coughs> am I saying, if you read everything here, they are saying judgment is fixed. Which judgment they are talking about? Because I don't want to get into the merit of the tape at this point. Of, because they are, this is, it is a fractured kind of thing. If the full tape comes, then I will be able to say. Because it is going from one place to another, to another, to another. So the basic point is, sequence of event must be made clear to the viewers. We are accountable to my viewers and my readers. Judgment of Bombay High Court came on 15th. Mr. Ram is also here because his business line editor also spoke to her on that point of time. And I am reading out from the text from there where she is asking, Neera is asking Go, uh, Venu Gopal, see the judgment. Venu, the way it is written, everything, I just see so much familiarity. He laughs. Then Neera says, even language is amazing. To which Mr. Venu Gopal says, yeah, judges don't write their judgment these days. What does it mean? How does he know? It's opinion we generally create. So if you take this statement out, then, then he goes on. Neela says, yeah, but the thing at the end of the day, all of us are going to say that these things are particularly natural resources like this. The point is that they should be fairly auctioned or whatever. So he's going along with her and expressing his opinion. Okay. This is our right of opinion. Opinion cannot be considered advice. I'm just saying that anything which I've done in this case, they're bringing something er erroneously there. How do you bring somebody's relation into it? I was talking about that something is fixed. Even the parliament debates are fixed. I knew about that point of time. Now it is coming out why we didn't write about that. If it is proved that one day before that a, par a parliament member saying that we have fixed the debate, is it, it is on record now, it is proved. 
So I am talking about general fixation. What is happening in this system where a brother fight? Because why I am talking about Murli Deva will come, where the Mr. Shinde will come. So I am basically expressing my anger as an editor okay. to her. Okay. And the tone may be different. I am talking about his wife. I am talking about both the wives. I am talking about my history. If that is a mistake, I plead guilty.